well, yeah, Bioshock 1 was pretty dark. Um, lots of, you know, really scary moments, really dark corridors. You know, coming to a bright 4th of July city in the sky, like I said, it didn't just pop out of our head fully formed. It took a little while to get there. And, you know, at first, we, you know, when we started experimenting with City in the Sky, it was dark, it was moody, it looked very similar to Bioshock 1, but we really wanted to step away and present ourselves with a challenge to, to create a whole new universe. And we didn't want to keep something around just for the sake of keeping it around. So when we started experimenting with, with uh, you know, federalism and the old patriot turn of the century, we start going brighter and brighter, and you know we landed on landed on Fourth of July. And it's like, well, you know, we start experimenting with Fourth of July, bright summer day, and you know, eventually came to what we see in the demo here. Well, you play Booker Dewitt. Like I said, he's a ex, he's an ex Pinkerton agent um, sent to the city of Columbia to find Elizabeth. You know, when he gets there, he discovers that she's in the center of this whole war that's been going on. She is a companion character that will be along with you for the ride in Colombia, so finding her wasn't a big deal, but getting her out of the city ends up being a lot tougher than you think. Ah! I don't want to get too detailed into what you're actually experiencing in the city. Um, it's one of those mysteries that we like the players to find out as they play the game. Uh, honestly, seeing everything come together, these big ideas that we had about you know the, the things that you saw in the demo, major moments that are happening, and you know, starting basically from scratch because there's there's nothing shared between this and, and Bioshock One, and building up to the level of polish that we think that we had on Bioshock One, and, and finally being able to show it to the world. I think you know that that's that's the biggest thing for us. Bioshock's bigger than Rapture, so we wanted to create a new universe, and we you know we had a new vision for how that universe was supposed to be. So you know, we're we're looking at turn of the century. America and you know we really just kind of ran with that. It's it's in, incredibly difficult to keep something under wraps for three years and you know it, it's it's hard working in a vacuum you don't you're not quite sure how it's going to be received and you 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 want to bounce ideas off of people but you really can't you know we're, we're excited now that people can see what we're working on we can finally start talking about it. <laughs>